so hi all so in this session uh, we are mainly going to discuss the second way which uh, we have discussed in the previous session right so how to configure your yum server okay so we have seen how to configure your yum server locally but in this session we are mainly going to see how to configure a yum server by registering with red hat network right guys if you remember properly you can see we have done with this one now we are going to configure we are going to register with red hat network it is very simple and it is very easy and most of the organization is following this one only okay so what all prerequisites are there to do this one so let me show you those things okay so let's directly jump into the topic and start this one okay so to configure the yum server by registering with red hat network what all things we need to do is just check the system is registered with red hat network or not okay if not then we need to register this one check the status of the system after registration then you need to do a subscription with the system with red hat network clear the cache of the uh repository okay whatever it was there before so you need to clear that one by using yum clean all command and then you need to update the repository with yum list command so here you no need to what we have done till now we have created our own repository correct that is what we have done we have kept or we have uh, accumulated all the rpm packages and we have created our own yum server that is what we have done with the to configure with your yum local server correct locally we have done it but now we can see it from the globally from the red hat network so red hat will be take care of the repository we just need to register with the red hat network to get or to pull all the packages what we are going to get in this local server so we need we are going to pull all those packages from here and you no need to do so much of effort guys it's very simple it's very easy so let's directly jump into this one and we can see that how we can achieve this one right guys how we can achieve this one very clearly very simple step you no need to worry about this one so first thing is the prerequisite will be that you should have a red hat username password which you are going to get it from your organization this is a paid service so i am telling you so either you can do it from your end also you can log into this customer portal from there you are able to see registered and login okay so i have a account because i have done rhcsa so i have a account i have paid for that one okay and i have qualified so they have allowed me to pull all the packages from this red hat network because this is a license so i don't think so if you normal create account so it's going to work for you just try it out okay but uh, you need a paid services okay so let me show you how i have done i have already created a username and password for this one so uh, so i'm logging with that one guys okay so guys you guys you understand in the meanwhile it is uh, log in to this website so as i said very clearly you need a proper username password registered with red hat network this will be given by your a particular uh, organization only this is a corporate login might be they have that is a absolutely paid service so here uh, i have i have created i have registered with this one and because i have given rhcs exam so i have paid for that one so they have allowed me to pull all packages from red hat network but what we can do it from the back end guys so you no need to do anything first you need to check whether your system is registered with red hat network or not so how we can check the very simple command subscription manager hyphen hyphen help you need to execute this is the basic linux command and you can see if you scroll little bit up guys right so if you scroll little bit up so here you are you are able to see first you need to register means register this system to the customer portal or another subscription manager management service okay so how we can register first so first you need to check the status of this system is registered or not so so the status of the information of this system subscription and product okay if you want to see this one so you need to run the command called subscription manager this is the command and status so you are able to see this one guys okay so it's telling unknown so first you need to register how we can register with the register command register correct enter now it's going to ask you the username and password so i am going to provide my username name and password over here right guys
and remember guys you no need to take care of your yum dot repos dot d everything will be taken care by the red hat network you no need to worry about anything that there is a configuration file right last time we have configured what is that dot repo we need to create from where we need to create that one so you remember whether if you go to this directory called cd okay uh, etc yum dot okay repos dot d if you do ls over here so are you able to see anything <clears throat> no you are not able to see anything because first you need to register and the second step what you need to do you need to subscribe this system okay how we can subscribe this system guys so you have done with the registration it created a id but you need to subscribe then only it's going to pull all the packages okay so here only that um, the other part will come right guys so if you don't have a subscription so it's not going to pull any any packages so you need to run the command with after registering okay you have to run the command call subscribe execute this one okay subscribe so it's going to subscribe guys okay it's going to take some time but it's it will subscribe now if you can see clearly it's telling install product current status is subscribed now you run this command which we were running earlier status so from the status unknown it will be showing you current means your registration is done and now you have subscribed now do ll over here so are you going to see directly it's created a dot repo file open this file guys open this file so this file you have not configured this is directly coming from the red hat network so now whatever the packages you are going to pull to this local server it's going to from your it's going to have from where where from the red hat network right so you remember in the previous session if if i can show you you would be able to see somewhere how many packages okay we have there once we have done yum repo list if you remember this one around 3000 packages right guys so if you are able to see i have somewhere so i can show you what all packages are there so uh, let me see if it it would have there then you can see the difference between your local repository that is what the difference between your local repository and the global repository that is from the yum repository and uh, from this particular uh, what we have configured as a linux terminal and now we are getting all the packages from your red hat network guys okay that is fine around it i remember properly around some 3000 servers it was showing earlier i properly remember that okay uh, sorry uh, 3000 something packages are showing during that time okay when i have done yum repo list but here you are going to see more packages guys because it's directly going to pull it from the red hat network so how we can do same thing you need to do that is what the next step so what all steps we have done we have checked the system we have registered the system with the red hat network so after registration we have done with the subscription now that is what called the subscribe the system with red hat network now the clear the cache by using yum clean all yum clean all okay command will be same guys so it's going to clean all the things and uh, now the next step what we need to do guys so it's clear everything now the next step is update the repository so it's going to take time guys so yum list or yum repo list anything you can execute guys okay yum repo list i'm going to do so it's going to because it's going to fetch all the packages from your red hat network so the packages are not only some 3000 there are around 20000 29000 packages will be there guys so it's going to take time so we need to wait for this one okay so guys you can clearly see the difference between what we have done as a local repository which we have configured earlier and now we have configured by using your red hat network right guys so are you getting my point so this is red hat network from where we have configured this one right so this is the biggest difference between while you are registering with red hat network and your uh, uh, while you are creating your own yum server or local repository okay so in the open local repository you are getting getting around 3000 packages because ultimately it is coming from cv uh, iso file or some cd or a dvd correct which is already there but here you are directly getting from red hat so you can see 21000 packages 
so this is they have a biggest repository what we have created just now locally right and they are keep updating this repository guys they they are not stopping they are every day they are updating these packages they are uh, keep adding new packages to this repository this is why you are getting this much packages as a from as a the global repository okay if you have configured your yum server or if you configured your yum repository or if you register with the uh, rhn network so you will be getting these many packages so the command will be same guys there is no difference between this one okay so command will be same in both the cases okay so if you want to list all the packages what you need to do yum list okay and you need to do enter so it's going to list all the packages whatever you are going to pull it from the red hat network so it's going to show you all the packages so it's going to take some time okay so you can see so many packages 21000 packages okay and if you want to see the installed packages uh, whichever installed in your system okay so you can see it by yum list that is the command i have explained you right guys yum list and you need to do installed right installed correct and you need to give less so because all the packages whatever the installed packages will be there of this particular uh, system okay so all the packages it's going to show you correct guys so guys this is how we can configure your uh, yum server by using red hat network so i have explained you both the ways and i have explained you these commands also so try to practice more and more because in most of the linux flavor or operating system you are going to get this one okay so this is the second way which i have explained now and this is the first uh, way which you have done it which we have done it correct so if you have any doubt any queries you can write it back to me i'll try to answer as earliest as possible thank you for watching this video guys